Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the High Lift Jack Ecosystem. This is one of the most flexible tools in the hands of outdoor adventurists of any on the market. Let me get them opened up and I'll show you why. The reason I decided to invest in this high lift jack system is its versatility. I've used these for much of my life. Back in my young days, I used to do some ranch hand work. I would um, install barbed wire fence and would use these. I would attach a chain onto this end and bring that unit all the way up. And then you can tighten it so it acts as a come along winch if you want to make things taut. It comes in real handy. You can leave these in this configuration if you want it to act as a clamp. If you want to, say, move that all the way up to there, you'll have 48 inches of clamping capability. And this thing has 7,000 pounds of capacity so it can handle a lot. Farmers use this frequently to remove stumps and it can be used as a spreader if uh, you undo this, flip it around the other directions. Matter of fact, here's some instructions that came with this showing it being used in a spreading capacity as a winch and as a clamp. But it's one of those kind of things where you can find yourself in all kinds of situations where you need to lift your car, trailer, even if there were a car accident and you couldn't get a door open, you can use this thing as a spreader. So it just comes in handy in so many types of situations that it's great to have for anyone who's into outdoor adventures or overlanding or you just have it along with you for whenever some unforeseen situation develops and you need to be able to clamp or s separate things. 7,000 pound capacity could pull up stumps, but many other things. It's just one of those versatile tools that can get a lot of things done. Now, before I get started with the installation, I thought I would mention, I specifically bought these recovery boards and I bought these specifically because they have a cutout here designed to place the foot of the stand on them. So if I'm in a situation where I'm on unlevel ground or in dirt or mud and I need a bigger foundation than just this piece, I can use those. I also bought the large red hard stand. So that gives me several options in the event that I'm 
in uh, some situation where I don't uh, have the footing that I need. It gives me a lot of flexibility. So I opted for this lift mate attachment that allows these hooks to connect into your tire, a wide variety of tires. So I'm going to be installing that high lift jack right here at the top in this section. Well, there you have it. This is the high lift jack system, extremely versatile. I'm happy with it. All the components that I've bought are working together beautifully. These mounts are very stable, secure, even though this is hefty in weight, this thing feels like it's absolutely solid. Couldn't be happier with it. Looking forward to getting it out on the road, putting it to good use, trying it in a wide variety of situations and seeing what all it's capable of doing. Hey, if you're thinking about buying one of these, check the program description. I've got a link to the one that I purchased. There are a wide variety of these on the market. You can go to Harbor Freight and Northern Tools and they have some other name brands available. I looked at those. They generally have good reviews, but I decided to go with High Lift. They've been around for a long, long time, have a great reputation. These things were designed 100 years ago and they were just proven over time. I found that there are a wide variety of models available of high lift, ranging from around $90 up to around $190. I found that many of the cheaper models were being sold by resellers who did not have a very good reputation, particularly if you go read the reviews and look at the photos you'll find that many of the cheaper ones are being shipped in fairly thin cardboard. And by the time they show up, there's a lot of broken pieces or chipped coating or scratched, gouged and such. I decided to get one of the higher end models simply because of the specs on this thing, being able to lift 7,000 pounds. Now, many of them can lift 7,000 pounds, but looking at the coating that they put on this and some of the pieces and parts that are included. To me, this is a great value. Many of those cheaper ones do not have this plate right here, this gold piece, and this will be around 45 to $50. And I highly recommend this because if you're using this for a come along winch or for a clamp and several other uses, you really need this piece. And so I highly recommend that. So when you go out there and see some of these for $90 and you start reading the reviews and looking at what's included, some of them are cast iron. There are a variety of configurations of how they're constructed. I chose one that I thought would last. This is the High Lift Extreme Edition. And I also chose to go with a reseller that had one of the best reputations. I paid a little extra, but it was obvious that they packaged it much better than many of the others. It had only one small scuff on it. Otherwise it was in pristine condition. So there you have it. I'm pleased looking forward to putting this thing to some good use. 
Hey, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Have you ever used one of these? Are you thinking about buying it? If you have any questions, let me know. Put those in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer each and every one of those. I read every single comment I get and I respond to every single one. So I'd love to interact with you, answer your questions, get your thoughts on this. Thanks a bunch for watching. Until next time, remember, spread love.